We've decided that I actually look quite legit in my outfit. Photo wall. Oh my god, it is so good. I feel like I'd be scared to say something like wrong. Poses in the PJs. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Also, came up these pajamas. I did a haul over on my TikTok when we went to Pack Fair the other day. I got some stuff from Mecca Sephora, came out in Uniqlo, and I'd actually seen one of my friends post this on her story, and I replied, and I was like, that looks so similar to, like, my Jerf Avenue pajamas. Like, they're just really thin and breathable and just, like, the same sort of shape. I feel like it's, like, a cross between skims as well, but just, like, a lighter fabric. $25 for the set. Yeah, and it's so comfortable. How cute is this little headband? It's from Chill. I also tanned my face last night, so I'm looking very bronzed. Um, yeah, it is freezing. Like, we were so cold last night. We were, like, contemplating putting the heater on, which we never do. Like, the only time we really put the heater on is if we have, like, the doors open all day and it gets cold in here and we put it on for a bit and then it's fine, but not to go to sleep. Anyway, I am going to go for a walk this morning on the treadmill. I think it's, like about to rain outside. I was gonna get up and go for a walk outside, but it just looks really cold and miserable outside. So I think I'm just gonna go for a walk on the treadmill in the gym uh, and yeah, and then head to work for the day. So let's go and pick a fit. finished my walk how flattering are these leggings i didn't even know lulu did like a v shaped legging i'm gonna go make breakfast i think i'm gonna make a bacon and egg bagel and get ready for the day i know what i'm gonna wear i'm actually really excited for this fit and yeah i'll show you guys when i'm ready hello i thought i would just get ready with you guys again because you seem to love it in my last vlog i haven't really got around to reading the comments yet so hopefully you do um, I did post a little haul on TikTok of some new products that I got from Sephora when I went to Pack Fair the other day. So I'm gonna use them. I have already put on the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA. What is PHA? Maybe it says on the back. Uh, and BHA Pore Tightening Toner. I put that on. I bought the smaller size because I just wasn't sure if I'd like it or not. Yeah, it does smell really nice. What am I meant to feel? Like, am I meant to feel different? Like a lot of people say that they love it so much. Um, maybe I have to use it for a bit to like know the benefits. I also went and got the Mecca Max, no, Mecca Cosmetica Broad Spectrum SPF in 50 plus. Riley, um, has this and I used it a few times when we were in Europe together and I really liked it. So I'm gonna pop that on. And then what else did I get? I got the um, Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. This one, I see every single person on TikTok use it and I'm almost out of my Morphe one. So I just decided to try that one instead. Um, what else did I get? Oh yeah, I bought some more of my favorite Huda Beauty lip liners. These are always sold out, especially online. I can never buy them online. So my best bet is to go in store. And I literally, I left two. I was going to buy six, but I was like, you know what? I don't want to be greedy. Um, so I only bought four, but I'm honestly not kidding. When I tell you every time I go there, they don't have them. So that's why I bought four. If anyone does have any other dupes of this if you've got this one let me know it's just like the perfect pinky brown i don't like brown lip liners i don't like super pinky lip liners i need something in between and this is the only one i've been able to find that works with my skin tone so then i just got some more of my closest concealer i wasn't sure which shade i was so i kind of just guessed and i knew that my one was w like something something w my previous one is 3.5 w and then the one that i picked up was three W. So I mean close. They pretty much look identical. I think the new one is just like a tad lighter, but 
they are pretty much identical. I love this concealer so much. Oh, and I did get some Uniqlo tees, but I feel like you'll probably see me wear them in the vlog anyway. Um, okay, what kind of makeup am I doing? I feel like I don't really need too much coverage. because When I've got a tan face, I feel like I never need to wear foundation because my face is all one color. And like, I don't know, when you're tanned, you know, you just feel like you can just walk out the house without makeup on. So that is my current sitch. I'm just going to cover some of these spots. What is that? Is that avocado? <sighs> Bit of contour. I think I'm gonna slick my hair today. It's the third day and usually I can't really, oh, I probably could dry shampoo it. Like it's not too bad, but usually on the third day, it's kind of just like, okay, it's time to slick. Let's try a bit of this go-go tint on my cheeks. I always use it on my lips, but I never usually use it on my cheeks, but that's what it's literally made for. Also, I've gotten in the habit of cleaning all of my like cream product brushes every day. Like literally it goes straight into the laundry and I wash them. Brows. Just using this one from Lush Fridays. I just realized since doing this like 30 day makeup challenge, I've been pretty much wearing makeup most days and I have never been like that. And it kind of, in a way, I know this sounds weird, but like kind of makes me feel like I've been feeling good recently. I don't know if it's like, Got to do with like actually properly getting ready in the morning and like doing my makeup because like obviously you know you feel yourself when you feel like you look good and i guess before i did this challenge there'd be some days where i would just not even wear makeup to the warehouse obviously not put in effort with my outfit i would just wear like what i would normally wear like just even i'd just probably wear trackies if i wasn't doing this challenge to be honest and I don't know, I feel like when you look presentable or like you feel pretty, like you have a better day in my eyes anyway. So I don't know, I've just like really enjoyed this challenge for me and definitely inspired me to post more like fashion style content because I didn't realize how much you guys actually liked seeing my outfits. So yeah, I'm definitely going to continue to like share my outfits, whether it's on here or like on Instagram or whatever. Okay, my makeup is done. I might just add a little bit of, of a liquid highlighter. I'm just gonna use this reply one. Just to the tops of my cheeks. I'll use my new setting spray. What's it made to do? Party all night, stay all long. No melting, no fading, no creasing lasts for up to 16 hours okay but yeah i just love my morphe one i love how it comes out as well like it's so refreshing and i like the smell i want to go get into my outfit and then i'll show you i thought i would take you along on the bts of me filming my outfit every day so i've got my tripod this one i got from amazon and then Got my phone. Then I just center the tripod. Make sure everything's closed. I just realized I haven't done my hair. No, I'm definitely slicking my hair back. Okay, I'm going to go slick my hair back first and then I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. I decided to do a pony for something a bit diff. Okay, let's go. So I'll always do like my before, a few poses in the PJs, you know? God, how cringe. Okay. Okay, that'll do. Uh, and then 
I will pretend. So I like set up all my clothes in this front wardrobe and then, oh, I need to put this on a hanger. And then I'll like pretend to take them out, you know? I think I've got my skirt in there already, yeah. So I'll put this in like that. And then I'll go to open. Like that. And then usually I'll put on the skirt or like the bottoms first. Okay. Um, then I'll go on for my top. It has a bit of makeup on it, so I'm just gonna have to try not to show that bit. Sometimes I'll like turn around and do like the putting on the top from behind. Maybe I'll do that today actually. I haven't done that in a while. Okay, hopefully that's okay. Okay. Then I'll do a few more poses. This belt is so cute. Then I'm going to accessorize. I might put the Florence necklace on, which is in my bathroom. I might put the Haley hoops in like up here. Quite cool in the thirds. I like that one. What shoes? I always wear these, but they're just like so good. My sandals. Surely. I mean, I could do boots, but realistically, I'm not wearing boots, am I? Okay, let's do sandals. I don't even think I can show these because this whole fits Princess Polly. And the shoes aren't, so I probably won't even be able to put this part in, to be honest. These sunnies are quite cool. I haven't worn them. They're from Vela. What do they look like on here? Mm, they're just like not really me, are they? Maybe I'm my Mew Mews with this fit. And my Shazzy. Yeah, I reckon. Okay, let's film the final part. So I'll just chuck the sunnies on. They are... Dirty AF. Then my shazzy. My sign off. The sign off kiss. Okay, I'm done. Let me just like double check that that was all right. Yup, yup. Nice. Cute. Yeah, cute. Should have changed my hair tie. Yeah, that'll do. This is the final fit. It's all Princess Polly, including the blazer, except for the shoes in the bag. But I love it. I'm obsessed with this belt. It's really cool. It's very like festy vibes. Okay, I'll edit that later when I'm at work, but I'm gonna go and pack my work bag and yeah. I hope you found that interesting. It's probably really boring actually. So sorry <laughs> if that was boring. I'm gonna go and heat up my lunch. I actually really like my makeup today. What do I have today? Satay chicken, yum. This is one of my favorite ones. That's 
that's the one. Sato chicken, broccoli, and steamed rice. Oh, sometimes these are impossible to open. it landed on top of the fridge I'm so clumsy okay she's done oh she's hot as well obviously also brought one of these all right let's go my lips but um i am about to pack a couple of orders charlie's left me early just gonna go film some stuff at home but i just counted all the stock that we had left over from adele's launch and put them up on the website and you guys must have put in your email to be notified when they went back in stock and we got like maybe like 40 orders within half an hour of them being up. So I'm gonna pack some because I'm gonna try and get them out before the end of the day, take them to the post office. But yeah, I counted them and we had like maybe 10 of each left over. So yeah, I'm gonna pack some for you guys. We have got the gold protection. Nadine from, oh, she has a gift message. I'm going to have to leave that one. As you would have seen, don't mind me, I just had a shower. I didn't end up washing my hair because I'm going to the gym tomorrow anyway and I'll probably get sweaty. So I just tied it back. Anyway, I bought some bananas from the markets over the weekend and they're already really, really ripe. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make banana bread, and but I want to make a Biscoff one. I think I typed in healthy banana bread recipes and then this girl came up and she's got so many yum recipes i'm gonna have to like stalk her page later on but i found this biscoff one and i was like sold biscoff banana bread bye um and i actually had most of the ingredients already i just had to go out and get some i got some self-raising flour baking powder vanilla extract but i had everything else oh, except for the chocolate chip which i'll put in as well so yeah, that's all you need apparently. And I am going to use some protein powder, obviously going to use my Naked Harvest one. I decided to do cookies and cream. Oh my God, my pink bowl. Cute. Okay. I actually might film this for TikTok as well. It is so good. I've just heated some up in the microwave because it has, I have let it like sit for a bit to cool. And look at it. Look at that Biscoff in the center. <gasps> Yum. It's so good. 
Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I'm actually just off to my PT session. I am going to make a pre-workout because I feel like I need it this morning. Oh my God, that banana bread. I could have eaten the whole loaf. Like that is hands down the best banana bread recipe I've ever used. I obviously don't make it often. But I remember I tried to make this like protein banana bread like a couple of years ago and I was like, never again. Like, I don't know if it was the recipe, the protein, because yeah, maybe back then I wasn't like big on protein, whereas I'm like so used to having protein almost every morning recently. So yeah, I loved it. So this is a natural pre-workout. Um, this one does have caffeine in it. As you know, I don't have caffeine or very much caffeine. Um, and it doesn't give you that crash. It tastes amazing. And yeah, it actually like gives me enough energy for my workout. Um, I'll show you the protein. This is the protein I used in the banana bread yesterday. So good. I also like using that in my oats. I would say my favorite protein that I reach for the most, especially my oats, is the banana split. It is so, so good. And then my second favorite is definitely the cookies and cream. I have placed an order to get the chocolate. I haven't tried the chocolate since I first tried Naked Harvest. So I'm going to see how the chocolate goes in my oats. Um, so I feel like I, I can't remember like what it tastes like or if I liked it or not. But yeah, these are definitely my top two. And then this is my favorite pre-workout. As you know, I do have an ongoing discount code with Naked Harvest. I'll leave it on the screen. It gets you 15% off. I also love their Naked Bites. You saw me make them last week. We still have a whole container in the fridge that we just snack on. Peter loves it as well. And then of course, the gorgeous greens in Banana Lolly is my ride or die. We go through like one of these a month or even like every two weeks because Peter's obsessed as well. I regret, well, no, I don't regret, but like they just go so quickly. Um, the Banana Lolly is hands down my favorites. I also got this in the mail the other day. They just brought them out in black. They used to only have them in pink, but these gym bags are so nice. Like they're still quite compact, but they fit like quite a bit in them. Um, so they also do come with like a little pouch, which is cool. You put like your makeup in it or like toiletries or whatever, if you like shower after the gym or whatever. And then a little longer strap that you can wear. But yeah, I thought I'd mention that as well. It's like a really cute gym bag. I wish I like used bags like this. Actually, I did use gym bags when I did my Pilates classes. So like I'd put my... Um, slides in there, my jumper, my keys and stuff. And I'd leave this in the locker. Um, I didn't use this bag because it just came, but like I would use like a little tote bag, but I feel like this would be perfect if you're needing like a little, like a compact bag that would still fit like a lot in it. It's got heaps of like little compartments as well. I'm gonna go finish this and then head to my PT session. And then we have the Barbie screening tonight at Pack Fair. And I still don't have anything pink, although I think I do have a pink blazer in my old apartment cage in the storage from memory. And I need to find it because I feel like that's my best bet. Like white crop, pink blazer, beige pants, pink bag maybe, pink shoes, bit of pink eyeshadow, pink lipstick, surely. Anyway, I'm going to be late. I'm going to go skull this and I will see you at the gym. My arms, that last set of dips, I honestly thought my arms were gonna give way. Like I could not stop shaking. Like even now, my arms are shaking. We decided to do like a full 
upper body sesh. We haven't done one of them in like ages. We normally do like lower body or full body. So we we're like, you know what? Well, I was like, I'm in the mood to just do upper body. So that's what we did. Now I'm gonna go and try and find my pink blazer. Wish me luck. Honestly, I don't really have high hopes, but I'm just gonna check a spot where I think it may be. And yeah, if not, I'm honestly gonna have to go buy something because I don't have anything pink. Like I've got like throwovers and stuff like that, but not really appropriate for like a movie screening, you know? I have managed to find my pink blazer. This one's from Bardo. I bought it like literally years ago. If you remember my makeup by jazz days, I wore this to like the benefit masterclass that I hosted in Sydney. Like, I think it was like six years ago, but there was like stains on it. So I just randomly like went in with some like dishwashing liquid, the arm, oh, not the dishwashing, a washing machine, you know, the stuff. Oh, you can still kind of see that mark. I don't know what it is. It's like makeup or something, but hopefully yeah, those stains come out but yeah so i've got that as an option which i probably will wear and then i found my natalie rolt dress that i wore for my i don't actually know was it 25th birthday maybe i don't know but it's just like a little bit more fancy plus i don't know if it's gonna fit me size two what's that size 10 i mean maybe but i remember this being like really tight um when i wore it but i just think it's like too fancy so i think i'm gonna dress it down Probably wear sneakers, trousers, little crop, and that's me. I'm making a bacon and egg bagel again with avocado. I'm not gonna put the bagels in yet because I need to cook my other egg. Yum. to wear my beige puffer jacket that I got years ago but there's just makeup and stains all over it so I've put it in the wash and I'm scared that the wash will fuck it so moment of truth oh yeah I put it in a gentle wash and I only did the 800 spin oh that worked so well there was like all makeup all along like the collar it's like literally good as new. I don't know why I would have thought like you couldn't put these in the wash. Well, anyways, puffer jackets are washing machine friendly. Hey guys, I have not vlogged at all pretty much today since I got back from the gym. I did have to go to the warehouse because Katie is in Melbourne and it's normally, she normally works on Tuesdays, but yeah, she's obviously in Melbourne. So I've had to go in and pack the orders, which actually took me longer than expected. I was there for uh, three hours or so. Anyways, that's done, dropped them off to the post office. And now I'm finally home and I'm gonna start to get ready for tonight's screening of Barbie. I think I know what I'm gonna wear. Um, I did also just get in a dress from Hello Molly. Such perfect timing, like so random. I didn't even know that this delivery was coming. I feel like it's a more dressy pink dress, just not really, I'm not going for a dressy vibe. Like I don't want to stand out. I just want to like watch the movie kind of vibe, you know? So I'll show you guys the fit after. I am just about to do my makeup, just made my greens. And because Riley and I are going to go to Grilled beforehand and try the Barbie burger, which is basically just like the exact same, but a pink bun. Um, so I'm just going to have a, mm, that's a big bit of chocolate. One of the naked bites to keep me going. Okay. I know I want to wear a slick bun. That's why I didn't wash it this morning. So I can just like do that a little bit later, but yeah, let's do the makeup. I'm just going to go wet this really quickly. Maybe I'm doing... Emco Beauty Tinted Serum mixed with this foundation and then this concealer. 
naturally. makeup the funny thing is like I would wear this lip even though it's like bright pink like every day <laughs> but people are probably thinking it's a part of the costume but no I actually love this lip combo I'm wearing the Benny tint no go go tint and then the Dior lip balm I'm gonna take this with me to touch up because we're gonna go and eat before but I put some pink on my eyelids it's just the um, the Dior Backstage Blush. <gasps> Is there water in it? No. False alarm. I'm just going to add a little bit more to my cheeks because obviously emphasizing the Barbie makeup. I feel like I've nailed it. Okay, guys, here's the fit. I mean, she's not all pink, but I mean, a pop of pink is cute. This is, like I said, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it's old Bardo. There's like water stains on it from me trying to like, is that obvious? Can you tell? Oh. You see that water stain and me trying to scrub the stain off? It's like dry. <laughs> I'll be like hiding that with my bag. But yeah, anyways, this is a bandeau from Meshki and it like matches perfectly with my dish pants. So I thought that would be cute. And then I'm just wearing my Gucci platform sandals for a bit of a heel. I was gonna wear my sandals, like my black ones, but I was like, mm, I feel like I need to make it a little bit more dressy. So I've gone with them and then I'm gonna bring my chazzy out. But yeah, that's the look Riley's gonna come pick me up. I probably, oh yeah, I could probably put my vlog camera in this bag actually. Um, but yeah, I'm actually really excited to see this movie. Place. Costumes. Where's your pink? Oh, your shoes. Look at this. Whoa. That's actual Barbie bag. Yeah. Seriously. Oh yeah, I got you some. Josh, um... Oh. Thanks. What is it? Oh, yeah, I already Just leave. like a bunch of random stuff. I'd already leave time. Yeah, that's right. Way. I'll show you a photo of Whoa. it. Whoa. I like that. Yeah, it's nice. It's that. I like that. Like these, and I like this. Might put this bracelet on now. Yeah, I didn't know if you wanted silver or gold, so. Surely silver. That's cool. Like my rings. Whoa. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we're gonna go try out the grilled Barbie burgers. Which I'm excited. Like, I'm a bit concerned. It's the same thing, seen, dude. It's yeah, just but like, dye. it looks funny. Okay. Yeah, but like, it's just throwing yeah. off because of the yeah, color, yeah, but it's yeah, gonna yeah, taste yeah. exactly like yeah, bread. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to swap out the meat. Yeah, just get one mean. of those yeah, ones, yeah. yeah. Okay. Verdict? Same. Nice normal, but I'm stressed about the pink lippy that's got gold over my face. Can't see a thing. Okay, we've made it, guys. We're getting some lollies. This is it. Photo wall. Would you like what these? else are we going to get? No. Please. Those ones. Hey, get some fantails because they're getting discontinued, dude. Seriously, the last get one. a grip. No, honestly, you can't buy them anywhere now. Okay, Everyone's yes. cleared the sh wall. Oh, sorry. Whoops. Give me one, at least. Okay. A fantail. Yes. Discontinuing. That's fire, fire, Give me two. Thanks. Right, we need a, this is a hat. Ready? Good morning everyone. I feel like we need to talk about last night. I didn't vlog at all um, after the movie, but it was, in my opinion, I really liked it. It did drag on a little bit, I thought. Um, I, we're not actually meant to post about it, but obviously by the time this vlog goes up, will it be live? Like, will it? Yeah, oh yeah. 
So it um, screens tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I wasn't able to like talk about it on Instagram or TikTok or whatever, like in depth. But yeah, I personally really enjoyed it. Was it what I expected? Yes and no. Like it was really, like it was a fun watch. It was funny. Um, oh yeah, poor. Wait, would I need to even put these on? Because these are poor reduction drops and then this is a poor tightening toner. I don't know. I'll just put them both on. Um, yeah, so like Margot Robbie was amazing. Ryan Gosling was amazing too. Love their characters. I like the message behind it as well. I'm not going to like spoil it and tell you like what happens or like what the message is in the movie. But yeah, apart from like the ending, I honestly thought like halfway through that it was wrapping up the movie and then it went for another like hour. So I was like, okay. So I'd say like, yeah, it did drag on a little bit. Like it went for two hours, but like I didn't like go on my phone once. If that, I don't know, it's like an indication. I usually am so restless with like TV shows and movies. And so like I find myself when I'm bored, like checking my phone or like fidgeting with something, but yeah, I didn't check my phone. Actually, no, I did check my phone for the time because I was like, well, what is the time this movie feels like? It's going on forever. But no, it was really fun. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend watching it. Um, but yeah, I am just doing my skincare, obviously. And I am actually filming today with Riley. I've got a few things I need to film, but it's mainly for her. She's just got this like reel to film and I was going to help her do it because she needs... Um, the gym or like a reformer machine to do it so we're gonna go into the apartment gym and film hopefully like no one's in there but usually it should be okay like during the day it's only in the mornings like before work or whatever that people are mostly in it I'm just doing my skincare now i did my face tan as well last night topped it up looking glowy um what have i got next is that it i feel like i'm missing something like missing a step no, maybe that is it. Yeah. Anyway, I wanted to come on and give you guys my thoughts on it. But yeah, I would definitely recommend seeing it. Like, it is a really fun um, and cool movie. And, like, the sets and everything. And, like, um, the presenter was telling us before that the car, like, the electric car that they used in the movie was, like, the very first. I can't remember what brand it was. Like, they literally made it specifically for that movie, which is pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, nah, I would definitely... I might even go see it with mum because I know how, like, badly she wanted to go see it. But, yeah, I would definitely go see it again with her. Yeah, maybe I'm headband today. Headband with clean hair vibes. Because usually I chuck a headband in when I'm, like, day three. And I can't be bothered washing it. But that's all good. Okay. Well, I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm going to go make some oats. And then, yeah, I will vlog when Riley gets here I guess this is the package that I received yesterday like I literally picked it up just before I was about to leave and I'll show you guys what I mean about like the dress stitch like it is a really nice dress so cute I also love this bag how fun is that um so this was the dress it's like just like a slip midi dress like it is really nice but just like I would have had to dress it up with heels like I couldn't have worn my, you know, like platform sandal vibes. So yeah, it is still really nice. Like I probably will wear it to be honest, like somewhere, like surely some other event will have a pink party or something down the track. So yeah, thank you so much. Hello Molly. And then what else do I have? Oh, I've got another one of these headbands. Very cute. What's this? I'm very confused about that. Hmm. Is this... Wait, what is that? I don't even know. Um, yeah, and then I got a ooh, pair of beauty blenders, very cute. And then, this was so random, like I didn't know this was coming, but I got this like box in the mail with this note saying, hey Jazz, I noticed you have a brand new Chanel Classic and we've sent you our bag box to keep her safe. Love your vlogs, been watching it for so long. Would love if you could unbox it. Um, it is from the bag box, how cool is that? I put it in straight away because I was like, I'm really interested to see how this would look with like the straps. How cool. 
This is my current work situation. I also got some new, I'm not gonna show you, some new sample boxes for a new product. Well, not a new product, but like a new collection. I've had to like completely customize them because of like the different types of products. So very happy with them. But yeah, this will be me for the next couple of hours. Riley's just about to come pick me up. How handy does this bag come? I've got my, some samples in there to show Riley. Um, I've got my SPF in there, some tripods, water bottle. I've also got a spare battery. Is that all I need? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, I've got my banana bread that I'm gonna give to her as well in the fridge. Okay, Riley's arrived. And I just heated up my banana I'm bread. the baking. Mm. Is that Biscoff in the middle? Yeah. Fuck. I think I added a bit more than the recipe said, but it's like fucked up. Mmm. Mmm. That's yum. Honestly, breakfast, Rickham. Yeah, We're playing tennis today, guys. Yep. Forgot to mention. You know the video of me at the first tower? That's oh. a tower. What video? When I like didn't get out. Yeah. Me trying to get the ball. <laughs> Seriously, it was there. I just know I'm not gonna get it, so I just don't even attempt. We're just filling up. My phone Riley's in a yeah. Riley's in a skirt, dude. At the field station. But yeah, we're gonna go play tennis at Royal Pines for like an hour or so. I'm actually low-key excited. Um, and yeah, I brought my tripod so I can set you guys up. We've got our rackets, court three. We've decided that I actually look quite legit in my outfit. Do you know how like they stay warm <laughs> before they get on the court? I thought you were off in the car before you walked in, dude. What, what are you gonna in the little skirt to the shop? Well, seriously. You're playing tennis, like. I'm terrified. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, it feels so weird. Shit. Guys, I used to play tennis for like 11 years, so I was quite good. That was so fun and it was only like $18 to rent out the court for an hour and then like the balls and the racket hire. Oh, we're definitely doing it more often. <sighs> I forgot how hard it was. I'm like sweating. What have you got for us? I've got an option. Oh, whoa. Yeah, berry or glacier freeze. I think I'm... Both no sugar. I think I'm this one. Hey. Nice. Thanks. Is that We feel really dehydrated. Mm. That's so nice. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Why is this light on? There we go. Um, I am off to my PT session. And then later on, I'm actually going on a podcast. I've never been on a podcast before. I don't know why I've been just like so scared of them. But I have always thought that because I've been approached to go on like several podcasts. Um, I have always thought that like I wouldn't have control over like what gets put in, if that makes sense. Like I've always been under the impression that like you go and record and then that's it and then it goes live and you're listening back and you're like, but in actual fact, most of the time you get to listen to it first before it goes out to the public. And then if you want like certain bits out, because like obviously podcasts are like, you know, you say things that first come to mind and like, I don't know, I just feel like I'd be scared to say something like wrong or like it come out wrong. And then I don't know. It's yeah. So I've just kind of just avoided that just because I've 
that's how I felt about them. But I do like the idea of podcasts. It's just that component. I'm just like, hmm, I'm not in control of the editing and like, you know. So, but yeah, that kind of like made me feel better knowing that they, you know, send it to you for approval before going live so you can like listen to it. I don't know why. I just never thought they would do that. But So yeah, going on a podcast today and it's with Riley. So I guess it kind of like takes the nerves off. Like, you know, I am feeling like a little bit nervous, but like, I don't know why I'm feeling nervous because the whole podcast is like about my life and like how I started socials, like, you know, what I studied in uni. And I feel like I get nervous and crumble under pressure when I don't know what's going to be asked. Like, I hate being put on the spot. Obviously, like, podcasts are all like curated and organized like they're not just gonna go in blind and like ask you all this stuff when you're not prepared because yeah um so yeah at least like we know what we're talking about like topics and stuff like that um most of the questions are like about us and our friendship like how we met and then there's like some fun questions in there so it'll be fun like it'll just be like a fun conversation we'll probably just go on tangents the whole time and not even like cover half the topics and questions that she has written down but that's the whole point of a podcast so yeah I don't know if I'll like end up filming in there for some BTS. I'll try to though because I reckon that'll be really cool. But yeah, I will share when it comes out, obviously, on my Instagram. But I'm going to go now and I will – I probably won't vlog this session, um, but I will talk to you guys later. Finished our podcast. I just got I wish the famous – I could do a Vinci one of that. Yeah. This is the famous like chicken sandwich that everyone raves about. Don't they usually really do chippies on the side? Oh, yeah. I got gym. Oh, yeah, here's our coffee. Yeah. Yes. That Thank you. you. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thank you. Nice. Okay, we're in the warehouse. I'm going to roll these up. Riley's going to pack an order. We don't do packing slips. We just look them up. Oh, you just look here? Yeah. Shit. Yeah, it's just so easy. You just go, what is it? Boom. Yeah, like we'll look up their name and then just pack it from Shopify. Okay. Privacy funny shit. Easy one. Whoa, Nicholas Super Rider. Yeah, nice. Just gonna do it in that. Okay. You stick this on this side? Yep. Afterwards. No, you can do it now. Would I put it on one of these little things? Very cloth, dude. Oh. Whoa, there. Okay. Oh, did you actually want to do it? Yep. Okay. In there. Nice. Card? Thank you, card. Yep. This one? Thank you, Nikki. May as well go live on TikTok. <gasps> They'll be like, what's happened? Okay, that's getting closed now. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, it feels funny packing other people's stuff. So then just fulfill it here. And then, and then next one. Ella. So your name. Oh, yeah, Pia Ring. Pia gold. Ring Gold Size 7. Let me find it. Pamela Aphrodite Bella. Alarm. They're not really labeled those ones, but they're there. Oh. Gold? Uh, size seven. Yeah. Okay. One of these. Try it on. Second hand. <laughs> yeah. So that it's new. Mm. Oh no, this could be really bad. It's not fitting. How do you do it, dude? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then that goes like that. Yeah, just fill it all the way up. Shit, you must go through these. Yeah. Are they dissolve in water? Yeah. Biodegradable. That'd be enough. Nah, because it moves. Oh. Just fill it up. Yeah. Yeah, you're trying to cheap skate it. In there? Yeah. Yes. Does this go in? Do I put that across like that? No, at the back. Like that. Mm -hmm. How do we tape it closed? Just with this. Put this on first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'd be here all day. Yeah. Express tape and then just this, just to seal it up. Okay. Give it a little. Wow. Oh, thank Ella. you, Ella. Ella from New South Wales. Yes, Ella. This. No, you need to fulfill it, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucked it up. Hang on. <laughs> I'm doing Santorini hoops and gold for Candice. 
many gold ones. Shit, I was worried. Yeah. yeah. You're wanting any gold ones, guys? I'll get onto that as quick as you can. They are <laughs> flying out the door. <laughs> and like yeah, flip so that up. Yeah, so just flip that, yeah. Yep. Cut from the hole. There's two. Oh, that's... I'd it's not good? the second one, yeah. Okay. Well... No, you can see it from the front. You don't... Hugs. There. See? A bit? Why are you holding it like that? <laughs> strong I don't know, dude. I've never done this before. Oh, this one's like double wrapped. Yeah. Clips Take good. this out. Yep. Yeah, they feel good. Yeah, that. Chuck it in. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. And now you'll have to put together a box. So you oh, no. This is where the wheels fall off the so, bus. Here's your box. How to do it. Wow. A box. I reckon I'll get like all the edges bent first. Yeah. Yeah, you've got it. And then it all depends what goes first. I reckon these bits. Just go. see how fast I can do mine. Ready? Well, I'll... Ready? Please. <laughs> and they'll flat one side. Now I don't want any complaints on these orders, okay, guys? Seriously, I'm trying my best. Unfortunately, I do have to clock off in a couple of seconds. I've got a hair appointment. I mean, I'm getting sick. I'm not feeling good. So, oh. who's all... oh. are you sure? Yeah. See that? Good man, dude. I might give some extra bits to people. Yeah, you could. I'd give a freebie. <laughs> Shit. Well, I'll see what she's ordered first because that will make my mind up. Yeah. Is she getting something? Yeah. Yeah, 10 orders. She's done. Yeah, she's done 10 orders and she's also gotten the Isabella Pave cuff, which is new. And the Amelia Pave ring. Yeah, okay, what are we giving her then? Um, Maybe a Sophia ring? Let's see, but she might have that. Just check here. Like, that's her last order. She wouldn't have it because we didn't have them okay. in June. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's nice. So, what size? Uh, this one is an eight. In gold? Yeah. So what do I do with this cuff? I put it in the so bottom. So I would kind of like... Hook it around there? Yeah. And I'm just going to like, yep. Cool. And then take that insert out. Give that a bit of a... Where? This? Just on that, yeah. Yep. Hey, it's Riley. Yeah, hey, it's Riley. Sure not? Hey, it's Riley. I said, hey, it's Riley. Hee hee, thanks for supporting Jazz. Gave you a treat, Billy. Yeah, cute. It's quite it's fun. Sure. It's like therapeutic. Yeah, because each thing's like a bit different. Yeah. Maybe the other way, I reckon. No. What? She might not read it. She won't read it. She'll turn it around. It just You'd looks hope nice so. You'd hope so. Seriously, you guys have done that for nothing. And she'll think she'll it's a hoax. Read it. Will she? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this thing's in the way. Workplace health and safety. Oh, oh no. Fuck. Hang on. What's doing? Give me a chance. Okay, Riley's left now. That was funny. Um, yeah, uh, the podcast went really well, actually. It was just like a really chill conversation. I don't even know what I was like nervous about. Like when, as soon as I got there and we started like talking, I was like, oh, it's like not even that bad. Um, but yeah, it sounded like um, a really good episode, hopefully. But yeah, she hasn't launched the podcast yet. So, oh wait, have I told you? It's Lily Brown's podcast. I don't think I even said whose podcast it was. And then we went to Tar, as you saw, and got some lunch and then we got some treats as well. Uh, and now I'm about to pack the orders from yesterday uh, because the girls are away. Charlie's currently at Splendor and Katie doesn't work on Thursday, so I'm here by myself, but that's okay. I was gonna um, save the orders for tomorrow and just do them all at once, but there is quite a few today, so I thought I would just like smash out today and then I'll come back tomorrow and do the rest. Why is my password not working? I also got these tulips. That Lily gave us. 
How cute are they? I've never, or I have seen the frilly ones before, but like not this cute. I'm obsessed with them. Like absolutely obsessed with them. It's a shame they don't smell, but they just are so cute. I'm gonna go and finish off these orders and then yeah, head home. actually really struggling with this fit but I stumbled across something similar on Pinterest and I remembered I still had this Kukai turtleneck in my wardrobe so I decided to do like an all black sort of outfit I did have my belt on my black belt which I think made it I took it off now because I don't I think I'm actually gonna wear this fit today I don't know I've got my like boots on and I also did pair it with my fluffy jacket. Like quite cute with the jacket, I think. I probably won't be wearing this today because like I said, it's not really winter during the day here on the Gold Coast. Um, so yeah, I think I'm, I'll keep the skirt on. I might even just like tuck in my, one of my Uniqlo tees maybe. And then just wear some sandals. I'll show you guys those tees. I don't think I showed you guys. Just giving like very casual, casual vibes. Or you could just tuck it in on, this, on like one side like that. This outfit is definitely more appropriate for today on the GC. So yeah, that's what I'm going to wear today. Even though my Instagram is showing otherwise, but... Oh well, it was still a really cute fit. Um, but yeah, I'm off to the warehouse now. I've got a few things to do. Heaps of things to finalize actually, like especially for the end of the year, which is really exciting. I've just confirmed some samples today, like this morning. I decided to put a headband in because my fringe was pissing me off. Anyway, I actually received a whole bunch of parcels. So I thought I would unbox it for you guys. Those ones I won't show you until I get the correct size back but i got a whole bunch of stuff from naked harvest i actually ended up doing an order when they restocked the banana lily greens because like i literally don't go a day without it and either can peter so i ended up getting three separate packages from naked harvest one of them was two banana greens that i actually bought myself because i was just scared they ended up sending me one anyways so now i've got three love that um, I also got a top up of some Naked Bites because we've been loving snacking on them. And then this is like an Elite Sups uh, exclusive flavor. So you can't get this on Naked Harvest, but they did send me over the watermelon pre-workout, which I'm excited to try. I've got some just like free samples. And then, like I mentioned earlier this week, I wanted to try the chocolate world protein. So I've got that and then I've got a top up of my favorite one. So that's everything up. And then I have wanted this top for so long and I signed up to be notified when it came back in stock. And then as soon as it did, I bought it. It's this really gorgeous, like off the shoulder knit top from Henny, I think it's called. And I've never made a purchase before. And I just tried it on and it sits so nice. I ended up getting the size, I think I got a medium. Yeah, size 10. It's so nice. Um, so yeah, I got that. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow. But yeah, just like a really nice staple piece that I'll have for a while. And then I also made an order from Crop Shop Boutique. I got sent their activewear like years and years and years ago. Like when I was living in Perth, when I only just moved to Perth. So what's that? Maybe four years ago. And I did like them, but I just feel like their sizing was a bit off. And I remember I ordered a shorts and a large and it was so tight on me um usually a large and I, I think i was around the same size as i am now um 
and yeah like I just found them extremely small like even the tops I went a large and I was like whoa like this is tiny so I don't know if they've like fixed the sizing or what but like the Isabel Mathers collection just looks stunning on everyone I was like okay well I've been influenced so I ended up getting this top it's like a full well kind of like full length kind of it's like the full length sort of tank. It's got an inbuilt like padding, but I always remove it. I just tried it on. This I got in a large because I always size up anyway in crops or sports bras. I just don't like anything digging in and it was a good size. So I got the tights, which I've got on right now. I think I could have gone a size up in the tights. I just shot my normal size, which is a medium usually. And they do feel quite tight, but I think they're meant to be like quite compressive. I think I'm just so used to wearing my Lululemon Alliance that when I put on any other brand, it just feels funny to me because like the Lululemon Alliance kind of like, they mold to your body and they, they're they not compressive whatsoever. Like they're just so comfortable to wear. Like I would wear them on a long haul flight. That's how comfy they are. Um, so yeah, when I put these on, I was like, okay, they're sucking me in. Like they're making me look snatched, but I don't know if I should have sized up in the bottoms. I'll. I'll give them a wear and yeah, see how they go. But yeah, the fabric seems nice, but yeah, they're just very compressive. I was saying to Peter this morning, it does not feel like a Friday. Like it feels like any other day. I don't know what day it feels like, but it just does not feel like a Friday to me. Yesterday felt like Friday, but today doesn't feel like Saturday. Anyway, um, I'm going to stop rambling and yeah, I will see you guys later. I don't even know what we're doing tonight or like this weekend. I feel like we just never have plans anymore. I am gonna go see the Barbie movie with mum again because she really wanted to see it and I felt bad that I didn't go with her um, when we went to the premiere. So yeah, I'm gonna go I think this Sunday night and see that with her, which will be fun. And like, I'm happy to see it again. Like I did really like it. Like I'm excited to see it again. So that might be saying something about the movie. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Of course we had to get noodle for dinner. We actually haven't had it in a while my curry sauce on oh what's in my curry sauce the hell is that what is that is it like a bean or something mm. it's so random yum happy saturday everyone i am just off to go meet riley at rabina we're gonna go get our toes done i haven't got my done since before we left to Europe. I'm gonna go get those done. I wanna hop into Kmart and see if they've got any more of those PJs because I'm obsessed with them. Um, like any other colors. And yeah, I think Riley has to go get something for one of her friends. Birthdays and yas. That's the plan for this morning. Wow, I'm actually sweating in this bomber jacket. When I got our toes done, they look nice and fresh. I just went with the French. I'm not gonna show you because Toes are ugly, especially mine. Um, I'm just actually going through the Rabina Starbucks drive through for the first time. I don't think I've ever, oh no, I have. I have gone through a Starbucks drive through but it's not like near my house. So yeah, I decided to get a, I feel like a matcha. Don't know if we'll go to the markets tomorrow because the matcha at the markets are so good, like unbelievably good. Um, but yeah, I feel like one today and I really want to go for a walk along the beach. So I'm going to grab that and yeah, head home, get changed and yeah. I think I'm going to end this vlog here though because I think I'm going to have tomorrow off to relax, edit. I've got a few things to do. I'm actually off to Sydney on Monday, so I've just got a few things that I've got to prep. But yeah, I'm going to sign off this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think this is another really long vlog, actually. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.